Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Chakos, and I am the Dean of the Pharmacy Technician Programs at American National University, and I wanted to show all students the eScience Lab Kit that you will receive when you enter your first Pharmacy Technician Lab course. So let's take a look at it. So you should receive this in the mail. It'll be shipped to your house. Usually you will receive it the first or second week of the term in which you are entering that lab course. So the first thing that we see here, we have some documentation. Now some of the documentation here, uh, this is giving you step-by-step -step guides on safety, um, how to work the lab manual, which you will find embedded in your Canvas course, some websites for um, additional information on the web kit, on the eScience lab kit. We have a product catalog for other kits that are supplied by eScience. And we have a full and complete list of all the contents for the eScience lab kit for pharmacy technicians. Now, I'm not going to cover all of these. I'm just going to look at the different packages that come with the eScience lab kit. So first thing you will notice is there are different packages for each of the different labs. And each of these packages has a label that tells you which lab they go with. So this one happens to be for the investigational medications. We see we have a graduated cylinder. This is a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. This is a safety packet, so it includes your goggles. It includes one set of latex gloves. If you have a latex allergy, please notify the university and we can get you a nitrile set of gloves along with the package. Um, we have a safety cloth to keep your work surface clean. Inside of here, we have a mortar and pestle. It is a ceramic mortar and pestle. We have the measurement lab. You can see it comes with three bottles for various liquids. You will be making solutions, suspensions, and emulsions during the uh, various labs that you'll complete. This is the compounding kit. Um, there are various other compounds you will make, including ointments and creams. Um, you can see it has Smarties, uh, we cannot give you real medications, so um, we're going to be utilizing placebos, um, which include Smarties and placebo tablets as well. Um, it has your ointment base, your cream base, alcohol prep pads, some salt tablets that you'll be utilizing. Um, this is an equipment practice lab. We have more placebo tablets, more Smarties, um, some prescription vials, including an ointment and cream vial, the prescription um, dispensing vial, and another um, liquid vial. Here is your liquid and emulsions kit. Um, we have measuring boats for when you're utilizing the digital scale that does come along with the kit. Um, and we have other uh, vials for making your creams and ointments and dispensing them out of there. Mm -hmm. 
This is the lab labeling and repackaging kit. You'll notice that in the background here, this orange um, device, um, some call it a bingo card, but it is a unit dose device that allows, to, uh, allows us to dispense to various long-term care facilities, such as nursing homes or assisted living facilities, um, such as um, Um, assisted living facilities that allow in, um, the dispensing of daily medications. We got some juices that we're going to utilize as liquids when we are doing our compounding. Um, we have a small can of ginger ale, can of apple juice, and a can of cranberry juice cocktail. Please do not drink these. Um, you will be utilizing these in your labs. And you can always substitute different liquids that you can find around your house as well. We have our pipettes. These are used for measuring. You will have a pipette bulb. That attaches to the end of the pipette so you can measure liquids accurately. We have our glass stir rod. This allows us to accurately and completely dissolve our substances in the liquids as we're performing our compounding. Beakers, polypropylene beakers, they come in various sizes. This is a 250 milliliter beaker, 100 milliliter beakers, and 50 milliliter beakers. This is our digital scale. You'll learn how to calibrate and tear a digital scale and using the boats, the weighing boats or weighing paper in some cases, you'll learn how to measure accurately the medications you need to compound. This is our counting tray. It is utilized extensively in retail or community pharmacy where we count the medications to be uh, dispensed to patients. Okay. Funnel for pouring the liquids that you'll be creating into smaller containers. This is a compounding spatula for ointments. You can notice that it's got this angle to it, which makes compounding and mixing ointments and creams a little easier. Smaller graduated cylinder. And finally, two more liquids. For compounding, we have our cherry, uh, cherry syrup for compounding our syrup. Most syrups are going to be flavored. Um, they're also going to be sweet, so they have sugar in them. Um, we have to be careful with diabetic patients with that. And then vegetable oil. So that's the kit in general. Um, if anything is missing as you go to complete your labs or if anything is broken or in error, um, there is a process for requesting replacements, which can be found in the eScience lab kit itself. They will replace anything that's needed. You will be going through these labs in two different classes. The first class will be Community Pharmacy of Operations and Laboratory. That's known as PTA 176. And you will be completing the other half of the labs in PTA 276, Institutional Pharmacy of Operations and Laboratory. So I hope this gives you an idea of what you're going to be looking at when you receive the eScience Lab Kit. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or email me. Thanks.